So, if you ever flown on a plane, you can probably recall how bendy airplane wings can be, and if you're a nervous flyer, is how quickly you can clench your butt. For either case, you may have wondered how much a plane can actually take before it all comes apart. The short answer is positive 2.5 Gs and negative 1 Gs, at least. The long answer? Well, it's actually not that long. I'm all spent after the C5 video, so I'm just going to do a quick one for this week. Let's get started. Chances are, if you're flying in a generic commercial airliner, the plane is strong enough to handle 2.5 Gs and negative 1 Gs while being fully loaded without permanently deforming. But that's only if you want the plane to remain undamaged. If the pilots don't mind creating some permanent deformations, the plane should be able to do even more. Airliners are designed to take on 1.5 times of the limit load as a safety factor. That means 2.5 Gs times 1.5 and negative 1 Gs times 1.5. We see this all in action during the static load tests, which are done by aircraft manufacturers to make sure their planes are up to the task, aka the test that goes Demonstrating that the plane can handle 150% or 1.5 times the design limit load shows that 1. The production models are strong enough for aircraft regulations 2. That the engineers knew what they were doing and 3. That their calculations and computer models matches the performance of the real plane which means they knew what they were doing. During the testing and certification process of all commercial airliners they are required to go through similar tests so you can rest assured that the plane on your next flight would be able to pull the same number of Gs. One more thing, you'll be happy to hear that if your plane is correctly loaded, they can pull even more. I'm not making this up because why would I, this is a factual video after all, and because there's been incidents that have shown that this is actually possible. China Airlines Flight 006, for example, managed to pull 5.1 Gs in a 747, and TWA 841 managed to pull an astounding 6 Gs in a 727. Both of them managed to land safely after only shedding a handful of parts. So, if you're a nervous flyer and feel your sphincters contracting the next time you see the wings bouncing around in the wind, don't worry. Unless you feel like you're flying inverted or being pinned to your seat at over 2.5 times the force of gravity, you have nothing to worry about.